the people of Abkhazia are choosing a new leader. Local authorities went the extra mile to do things by the book, with spotless poll stations, secret ballots, and even international observers. Among them, Russians, of course. There are also monitors from other countries, Poland, Japan, Israel, and France, among others. Those same countries, however, don't recognize Abkhazia's sovereignty. I'm not a diplomat. I'm a French citizen, a citizen of the world. And no one told me I couldn't come here. I'm not representing France. In all, 108 international observers monitored polling stations throughout the country, this despite Tbilisi's disapproval. Georgian ambassadors in Europe sent authorities notes asking observers not to come. Some backed out, others still came, but you have to understand that we didn't invite them to recognize our sovereignty. We just wanted them to observe the voting process in an objective way. These are Abkhazia's second elections following the five-day Russian war with Georgia in 2008 when Moscow declared Abkhazia's independence. Only three other countries have recognized the tiny nation, making Abkhazia in dire need of foreign investments.